Look at the crowds in the street there. This is Mayfair. Cotman and Frankfurt in the Mayfair section. Very emotional scenes like this. Happy Eagles fans all over the three-state area, the Delaware Valley, as the Eagles finally win the NFC title and earn the right to go back to the Super Bowl for the first time in 24 years. Now let's talk on the phone to Dan Quayer. Dan, are you down there in that uh, crowd? That's right, Rob, believe it or not. It is 16 degrees out here, minus two with the wind chill, but these people don't care. This is a big party going on here that they have been waiting for. God, how many years have they been waiting? 25 years, they say, and it's like nobody cares about the weather. They don't care that it's cold. They're just having one big party. Some people out here without shirts are out here yelling at the top of their lungs. We're going to the Super Bowl. We've been waiting all these years for it. They've taken over the street here. The police didn't want them on the street, but they finally gave up and realized this was just one crowd they couldn't control. It's one big happy crowd here, Rob, in the Mayfair section. Okay, thank you, Dan Quayar, down there among all those people. Let's go uh, now back to Lincoln Financial Field. Chad Perdelli, are you there? Rob, uh, this is unbelievable. The fans out here are loving this NFC Championship win. Uh, one fan right here, uh, he actually had tears in his eyes just moments ago. What's your name? Mike McVeigh. Where are you from, Mike? Upper Darby. You had tears in your eyes moments ago. Yeah, uh, it's it's just a huge it's a huge relief. I mean, it's a come this whole city. Like I said, we live and die, we rise and fall with this team. And when his when Tio's leg broke, everybody in this building's leg broke a couple weeks ago. And to get over the hump, it's just you can't you can't get taken to this level and not feel like you've accomplished something. 68,000 people did this today, not just 22 guys on the field. Not, I, that hasn't even hit me yet. Who would you rather play now, Steelers or New England? Just another victim Steelers. at this point. It doesn't matter. This Steelers. is destiny now. It doesn't matter. What about you, buddy? What's your name? Mark McGowan. Where are you from, Mark? Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. How sweet is it? Uh, it's the best. I wanted to get the last two years, but I couldn't. This year, just found out I was going to go on Friday night. Oh man, three rows up, that Dawkins hit on Crumpler was amazing. I was from death from it, but it was worth it. What are you doing to celebrate tonight? Uh, Eat yourself a nice big pizza, huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got you got you got to give it to the fans of Philadelphia. They're so excited, and uh, things pretty calm inside the stadium. That's the way we like to see it. But lots of celebrating. Expect it on later on tonight. Live at the link, Chad Fredelli, Channel Six Action News. Rob. They have every reason to be happy, and they're celebrating, and and thankfully in a in a wholesome way. Now, not very far from Chad Fredelli, outside. Fans are pouring out of the link, and Action News reporter Vernon Odom is there with his friends. Hi, Vern. Hello, Rob. They're pouring out of the link. Some people are already shooting off their own custom-made fireworks a few hundred yard feet from us down here. But the newspapers are already out. Let's see the headlines. Yeah. Jacksonville, what are you going to do when Philly's coming down on you? <laughs> you said this, you called, you, I talked, said, you talked before the game and you said this is the day. We're leaving happy, and we are. I don't know nothing about what happened in the past. We live for the future. Here we are. This was a real battle today. Yup. What's the Michael Vick experience? What is that? What is that? A couple of bad ones up here. But, uh, <laughs> that was good. It's a good game. We're happy. This is it. Go Eagles. Very good. You yeah, very good. Right. Oh, yeah. We're going all the way. Well, we are there. Now, Todd, Jacksonville. Can they win in Jacksonville? Absolutely. We're looking for the Pennsylvania Super Bowl, Pennsylvania baby. Super That's Bowl. all it's all about. Yeah, we're going to pick first. I think we're going to go all the way. Did you enjoy the game? Oh, I did. All the way. It was great. 
Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Thank well, you. I don't think there's a team that can beat us. Sorry? I don't think there's a team that can beat us. Whether it's Pittsburgh or New England, it doesn't make any difference. Doesn't matter who they play in Jacksonville. No, when they get a hold of our defense. It's Parking lot out there. <laughs> wow. You know what? Maybe I'm, I need to go out there and celebrate with them. I just need to go yeah. get, get in the middle of them and start jumping. <laughs> was there any way that you guys are going to lose this game? I saw the confidence and the swagger you guys had all week. You know what? It's just in the locker room before the game, there was just a, 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 a an aura of, of we refuse to yeah. lose. It's just, you know, it's just, there's no way we're going to lose this game tonight. One oh, more game. One more game. It says on your hat. Go home right, and get some you. rest. We're going to throw it back. Just preparing us, and uh, we just went out there and made things happen. You talked to Friday about uh, envisioning this moment. <coughs> what was it? Was it like what you envisioned? It definitely was. You know, I was waiting for the confetti to start flying. Uh, they took a while for that. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's just a great feeling for the city of Philadelphia. You know, obviously we know what happened in the last three years. Uh, being this close and never being able to really pull it out. But uh, this year was something special. You know, everything that's happened so far has, has been a special feeling, and there's no reason for it to stop now. Well, I mean, you know, when it, when it was 14-10, we came in with the attitude of, you know, what, we go out there, we score on the first drive, uh, and, and every opportunity we come out with points, this game is over. Uh, and, and, and that's just the confidence that we have in each other. And, you know, we went out, sustained a drive, uh, came out with, with three points when we should have had seven. Uh, the next opportunity we were out there after the interception, uh, we should have had seven again. Uh, we got another three points. And, uh, we left a, a lot of points out there on the field, which this game could have really been uh, open wide up, you know. But the thing about it is when you play the game of football, you never know what can happen. You just got to continue to, to work hard and stay patient. Uh, and just let things just, you know, lay where they lie. Well, I mean, the winds were blowing uh, pretty hard, and obviously we know how cold it was, but uh, we weren't going to let anything, you know, hold us back. And, um, you know, we're not a team that, that tries to make excuses. Uh, so we just continue to run our offense and try to do it effectively, and we did an excellent job today doing it. There's no relief, uh, really, for me. Um, you know, I have relief after the Super Bowl. Um, I set a goal out to win the Super Bowl, uh, and that's that's where I'm going with it. And uh, obviously, we're excited about this win. Uh, we're excited about obviously, uh, you know, winning the NFC Championship, putting ourselves in a position to win, to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, but we're not done, so uh, we're going to enjoy it while, while the time is here and uh, focus in on what we need to do to try to win the Super Bowl. Ron, when you lost to the Rams and you stayed on the field and watched them celebrate, was this today, staying on the field and enjoying this, was it everything that you thought it would be that day when you were watching them? It definitely was. Uh, it definitely was everything I thought it would be. And um, Obviously, it took a couple years after that uh, for it to happen, but um, patience is, is, is something else. And, you know, we continue to stay patient. Uh, we know a lot of people turned their back on us uh, and just didn't have the confidence that we would be able to do it. I think we answered a lot of questions. I think we uh, answered a lot of critics, you know. So maybe people will be happy about the Philadelphia Eagles again. Maybe not. But you know, as you can see, we're not worried about it. Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, no, those particular years in which they were at the Super Bowl, uh, it was a different situation. I think. Uh, for us, being a younger team, and you know, we just have to go out and just you know play our style of play. And, and uh, if it's hard nosed football or you know whatever it may be, you know, we just have to know what we're seeing out there, be able to execute, and, and just make plays when we have to. Those particular Super Bowls they were in, uh, I know the St. Louis game went down to the wire, and uh, when Dorsey was there, uh, obviously you know it was a, another tough game. So uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, just do what we're expected to do. You know, everyone. Do, do their job and not try to do anything special. Um, hopefully we'll be happy the way we're happy now. How important was it today to show that you were a pocket passer and moving right? Uh, well, I got out of the pocket, so I gave a, some people a smile on their face to, to let them know I'm running again. Um, but, you know, you just have to do whatever it takes in order to win the game. You know, today you saw two quarterbacks that, that uh, you know, just try to win. And, you know, Michael Vick is a winner. You know, people can talk about him running the ball and, and not throwing as much, but he wins. Uh, I'm sure if you you ask some of the passing quarterbacks in the league, uh, would they like to go 13-3 or whatever their record was, I'm sure they'll say yes. Uh, but 
you know, you, you're just excited about this particular game because it was special. It was a special game. It was history. Uh, and, you know, I think people that sat and watched this game uh, really enjoyed it. Well, I mean, I, I tried to, you know, throw it the same. If it was with the wind or, you know, through the wind, whatever it may be, uh, try to put a little heat on it and, and try to cut through it if it was through the wind. But, uh, you know, it was just, just an excellent day today. It's the best your line has played in the four championship games. I, I can't say that. Um, you know, we all just didn't, you know, have our A game in, in the other previous games. And uh, I think we stepped up to the challenge today and made some big plays. Do you expect to get Terrell Owens back for the Super Bowl? Uh, well, I mean, you ask him, he said he's going to be back. So that's the only thing that we can go by right now. And, um, you know, the, I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you what's going on with that. But I'm sure he's going to rehab well and try to get himself back on him. He's excited. Uh, but, again, you know, we're going to focus on, on who we have to play in the Super Bowl and go from there. Okay. Does your mom have any, any special words of encouragement before the game and at any point during the game think back on what she might have said to you? My mom was pretty brief. She just said, just win. <laughs> when you're in this situation, you just got to win. Thank Brian you. Dawkins and Jeremiah Trotter. And Brian Westbrook. Uh, yeah.